Hey everybody, we're here. We're waiting on a, a little bit of a lunch to be made here at the depot in Ironton. I uh, just got me some Captain Jack rolls. Uh, only sushi you'll see me eat because I know there's nothing in it that's raw. So, but we're gonna go ahead and read our chapter 14 of the Gospel of Matthew. At the time, Herod the Tetrarch heard of the fame of Jesus and said unto his servants. This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. For Herod had laid hold on John and bound him and put him in prison. For Herod's Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for John said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude, because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before them, and pleased Herod. Whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she, being before instructed of her mother, said, Give me here John Baptist's head in a charger. And the king was sorry, nevertheless, for the oath's sake, and them which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. And he sent and beheaded John in, pri in the prison. And his head was brought in a charger and given to the damsel. And she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took up the body and buried it and went and told Jesus. When Jesus heard of it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard, Thereof they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them. And he healed their sick. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. Sent the multitude, or send the multitude away, and they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals. But Jesus said unto them, They need not depart. Give ye them to eat. And when they said unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes, he said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and brake and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up of the fragments that remained twelve baskets full. And they that had eaten were about five thousand men, beside women and children. So that's just the men. Five thousand of them were men. That does not count the women and the children. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship and wind ceased, then they were, th then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they come into the land of Gennesaret, and when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all the country round about and brought unto him all that were diseased. 
and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Notice they didn't give a number of how many people were healed. They sent out for all that were diseased. How loving Christ was. We will never be able to fully understand or completely encompass what grace really means. We have our vague understanding of it. You'll have some that will promote this or promote that, but they all promote grace. Some believe different ways, but as long as they believe in the core tenet of Jesus Christ, that he was he came as a virgin through a virgin birth. He is the thrice holy God of the universe with God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It may not use the word Trinity in the Bible, but it used a complete definition and description of it in the Bible. As long as you believe he went, he lived his a sinless life, that he went through the death, the burial, the resurrection, allowed himself to be sacrificed to pay that ultimate price in grace for salvation for all of our sins. He paid the ultimate price for all of us. He is the thrice holy God of the universe. He paid it for everyone as long as they choose to accept him. No one comes to the Father but through him. You'll have people that will say that's exclusionary. How's it exclusionary? He spoke the truth and he freely gives it to you. You don't have to be excluded unless you just choose to be. But he loved everybody. I mean, he commanded us to go through all the nations and proclaim him, Christ, as the Lord. So, it's out there. It is what it is. Um, I'm just amazed. Just trying to think of it all, you know? It's like you're trying to encompass it in your head and how to describe it, how to talk about it, what to do, what to say. But man, there's not much more to say other than Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He loves you enough to want you to be with him for eternity. And he paid that price for all of us because we couldn't pay that price. We weren't perfect. He was the perfect sacrifice. But we'll go ahead and pray. Love y'all. See y'all later. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we come to you today, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings you give us, Lord. Watch over us. Be with us, Lord. Allow us to have a great day. Be with us as we're out and about today and with the, the road conditions the way they are still in some places. It is starting to melt different places, Lord. But the, the road still can be a little treacherous. And some people might get the false sense of security and safety because it is starting to melt. Allow them to be able to still use a little discernment and realize that there still are areas where it still could be treacherous, Lord. We love you and we thank you. And we cherish you. We praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. And in your name we do pray. Amen. All right, everybody. We'll see you later. God bless. Bye.